5th century BC. That was the time when physical ailments and diseases were considered as curses. Treatment of diseases was steeped in all kinds of superstitions and magic. Hippocrates, the Greek philosopher and physician, entered this world of mumbo-jumbo. He rescued medicine from the clutches of superstition and irrationality. It was Hippocrates who gave medicine the status of a science. The Unani system of medicine evolved from the teachings of Hippocrates. Greek scholars like Galen strengthened the foundations of the Unani system. Arab physicians like Rhesus and Avicenna built a superstructure on the foundations laid by Hippocrates and Galen as it spread to several Central Asian and Far Eastern countries, Yunani medicine imbibed features of the contemporary medical systems of those countries. When the Persian and Central Asian cities were attacked by Mongols, Arab scholars and physicians of those cities fled to India. It is believed that the fleeing scholars and physicians carried their wealth of knowledge with them, which included Yunani medicine. With the patronage of Delhi rulers like Kilji's, Tukluks and Mughals, Yunani system of medicine took firm roots on Indian soil. The migrant physicians continued to experiment with native drugs and enriched their repertoire. The masses favored the Yunani medicine and it attained its pinnacle of success between the 13th and 17th centuries. Yunani medicine lost its royal patronage with the arrival of British rule. Individuals like Hakim Ajmal Khan contributed to its development in India. Hippocrates considered disease as a natural process. What we observe as symptoms are the reactions of the body to the disease. The physician must try to aid the natural processes of the body to fight the disease. The chief contribution of Hippocrates to medical science was humoral theory. The humoral theory presupposes the presence of four humors in the body. According to the United System of Medicine, there are, the, there are four main humors in the body. That is the blood, the phalum, the bile and the black bile and the, uh, the, the right constitution of these four humors uh, is the basis of the health and the wrong constitution whether it can be the qualitative difference the qualitative or the quantitative uh, which leads to the, the disease in Yunani these four humors are known as dam, bhalgam safra and soda. Humors are supposed to have particular characteristics. Blood is hot and moist while phlegm is cold and moist. Yellow bile is supposed to be hot and dry while black bile is cold and dry. Unani system of medicine lays emphasis on diagnosing a disease through nubs or pulse. The physician feels the rhythmic pressure in the arteries of the patient with his fingers. Urine or ball and stool or baraz are also examined to help diagnose the disease. Various types of treatment are used in Yunani system of medicine. The Yunani system of medicine offers uh, treatment uh, in various ways, say for example, there is uh, the regimental therapy, there is the dietotherapy, there is the pharmacotherapy, and there is the surgery. Generally, single drugs or their combinations in raw form are used in Yunani system. Since most of them are natural and herbal, they are free from side effects. If a particular herb is toxic in its raw form, it is used only after purification. Drugs are also administered 
according to the temperament of the individual so that the process of recovery is accelerated. Complex and chronic diseases are treated by administering compound formations. The Yunani system of medicine uh, is different from modern system of medicine uh, uh, in the way that uh, it, it is the, mostly the herbs and the, some drugs from mineral sources and some drugs from animal sources which are used in the Yunani system of medicine. Uh, there, are, there, there are no um, uh, synthetic drugs in the Yunani system of medicine. Yunani medicine considers the influence of environment and ecological conditions very important for the health of human beings. The system also emphasizes the need to maintain proper ecological balance and having pollution-free air, water and food. Systematic research was initiated in Yunani medicine in 1969, soon after the establishment of the Central Council for Research in Indian Medicine and Homeopathy. In 1978, a separate council was established for research in Yunani. Hakim Ajmal Khan is regarded as the person who is responsible for starting the scientific research on Yunani system of medicine. Uh, it is he uh, on whose advice uh, one of the uh, leading chemists of the time, uh, Professor Salimuz Zaman Siddiqui, uh, had uh, extensive research on one of the important uh, the local herbal drugs, the Raulfair Serpentina, uh, popularly known as Asrol, and the, the Pagal Booty in Yunani system of medicine. Research has been an integral part of Yunani system. Physicians at the Central Research Institute of Yunani Medicine, Crime, Hyderabad, say that uh, the Central Research Institute of Yunani Medicine, Hyderabad, is, as a matter of fact, it is a constant unit of Central Council for Research in Yunani Medicine, with an apex research body in Yunani system of medicine. Uh, the 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 council in general and the institute in particular um, is engaged in scientific research in the United System of Medicine. The, uh, the, very, the various areas of research which the, our organization engaged in are the clinical research, drug standardization research, uh, survey and the cultivation of medicinal plants, and the literary research. The, under the auspices of the clinical research, the, our institute uh, has uh, been engaged right from its inception in 1971 in research on vitiligo. Center of Excellence in the Treatment of Vitiligo. We, the, we attract the patient from throughout the globe. Oh, till now, we have treated over 70,000 cases of vitiligo and uh, we have successfully treated them. After the country achieved independence, the government of India made attempts to promote all the traditional medical systems like Ayurveda and Yunani. 